Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to export multi-region AWS CloudWatch logs to Amazon S3 bucket with using uh, AWS Lambda. So here we have AWS CloudWatch logs available in the multiple region. So here we're going to build a solution with using two AWS Lambda in region AWS uh, US West 2. So here I have a first Lambda that is called as an Invoker Lambda. This Lambda will be scheduled to run you know, periodically, basically daily. Uh, which will actually list out the all the AWS CloudWatch logs present in the AWS account and then you know triggers the second lambda the second lambda is the lambda which has the logic which is uh, you know uh, to create a CloudWatch log uh, groups export task in the CloudWatch logs so basically it creates the an instance of AWS lambdas run that is the second time lambdas run so which will actually export the logs from EU West 1 region to a bucket that is created in a EU West 1 because you know uh, if you are using the AWS CloudWatch logs and you created a log export task it needs the uh, you know the uh, S3 bucket that is present in the same region then only the export is possible that is how the CloudWatch log export task works so here the Lambda is creating an export task that's all and it is using the you know the uh, Boto3 uh, models I'm gonna walk you through the code uh, you know after a bit uh, right so here um, you know uh, when it creates the second instance which will again you know target to the us west 2 region and it will store the into the amazon s3 bucket that is created in a us west 2 region likewise for the another region as well so basically as you see now the complete solution right so we have a two lambdas first lambda which is runs on a scheduled basis its job is to list all the CloudWatch logs groups present in the region that is in the scoped list of regions of an AWS account and then on that list you know it will gonna invoke one one instance of AWS Lambda that is second Lambda the second Lambda's job is to uh, you know create a CloudWatch log groups export targeting to an Amazon S3 bucket that is sitting in the same region as CloudWatch log groups now you might be wondering now my all the CloudWatch log groups are now stored in Amazon S3 bucket now how do I consolidate it or how do I aggregate it right so here so I'm gonna show you that uh, in a while but before that I would like to tell you the advantage here that is that you know the if you are keeping the logs in the AWS CloudWatch log groups uh, so that will have a more cost on the storage now you are exporting that logs into uh, Amazon S3 bucket which is a low cost storage and henceforth that is a cost uh, you know the optimization opportunity here now this point two that is continuation of this solution which i have not covered in this video that is you got all your logs stored in a amazon s3 bucket belongs to different region now you can aggregate that or basically consolidate all those logs with using the aws etl pipeline with using the aws glue job and we're going to store it as centralized s3 bucket and from there you can use it for your automation from your analytics purpose or you and you can use it for machine learning purpose so this is how you know i'm going to show you now here i'm going to walk you through the code first then we're going to see the demo of the particular solution so this is my vs code here uh first one let's look at the first lambda that is the that is a scheduled invoker lambda what is it actually does and how the logic is being written so i have given the name of the uh, lambda that is called as a export invoker lambda so the the job of this particular lambda is to uh, you know the list out the log groups and invoke the second lambda which will create an export uh, log task on the CloudWatch log groups. So here you see that I have a function called two function list log groups and invoke log, you know invoke lambda. So as you see these are this is actually doing the two job. First one let me walk you through the the, uh, the function and then we're going to see the lambda handler. So this is the function which will actually receives the region as an input creates a uh, CloudWatch log group client and uh, then it, it calls the uh, paginator a function with the uh, with the input called describe log groups and henceforth it actually uh, you know gets the result and from the result it is extracting the log groups names collecting that into a, a array list a basically list and then sends back as a uh, you know the list as a return here similarly the, the second function as the name says invoke lambda this so this uh, the the job of this particular function is to invoke the second lambda which is actually exports the cloudwatch logs to amazon s3 bucket by creating the cloudwatch log export task so here it is actually getting the log group name function name region and the source region so here it is creating a lambda client constructing a dynamic payload called with a with a key value pair called log group name and region 
which is a dictionary by the way so and you are using that dictionary to invoke the aws lambda and uh, and then also and this event is being read by the second lambda which is uh, exporter lambda and then it will create a cloudwatch log group export accordingly and that is how we are orchestrating here in the handler so here you can expand this list that is you know source region list according to your need but you know i'm going to tell you that there are a lot of you know obstacles that you know you need to take care before you expand it for multiple regions and then the my lambda solution is sitting in a us west one that's the reason this is my uh, lambda region this is the lambda function name and then this is the for you know for each loop which is actually uh, first one it is actually calling the above function which we discussed it got the log group name now again it will going for the another for loop and invoking the lambda uh, which will invoke uh, which is basically creates an instance of second lambda to actually do the job now this is how we have written the logic of the first lambda let's go to the second lambda the now the second lambda job as you uh, you know as we have discussed its job is to create a exporter task so for that case we just created a only one function called create cloudwatch log exporter task and that has the log group name from and to date because we need from and to date uh, you know to create the, uh, the the export task and the destination bucket of course the bucket has to be in the same region as the cloudwatch log groups region and then the bucket prefix, prefix which is needed for dynamically you know populating into the bucket so uh, here you know we will see you know what is the logic we have written here to create an export task uh, so here you see that we are importing a time here uh, inside the the function itself but by the way the best practice is to keep it in the here in the top so we don't need this one so i'm going to remove this off right and then um, you know the down the line we are actually creating the log client that is cloudwatch log group client uh, and uh, since it is potentially you know the uh, there is a uh, you know the issues of uh, aws uh, Boto 3 APIs or AWS APIs. So that's the reason just to take care of the errors because of the, the limitations of the APIs. That's the reason we have added the exponential backup as well, which will try for five times. And here, you know, we, we are trying that five times with using the for each loops, for loops. And then here we are invoking the uh, uh, API called create export task with using the group name of from and, and to date destination is the bucket and the prefix. Alright, so this is where you know you are creating a task on the CloudWatch log groups, and uh, so now just have a look at here, right? So basically, now let's go back to the event handler, that is the lambda handler. The lambda handler, you know, it listens to the event that is being passed by the first lambda. It is, you know, in that event, it listens to the uh, in that event, it gets the information of log groups or uh, region, right? And once it guards those inf information, that is log group name and the region. Uh, it uses those and creates the uh, you know the export task so, so how does it create we're going to see it down the line so it is dynamically identifying the bucket name because here i have used the naming conventions to identify the right bucket of the destination right and that is only possible by a naming convention so i have created a naming convention per region so here is the prefix of the bucket and then that is replaced with the region uh, you know converted into lower uh, cases then we have the number of days as a parameter to construct the from date and to date Right, so you can have a look at this one, uh, and then finally we are actually uh, calling the function to create an exporter task, where we provide the log group name, uh, you know, from date to date. We constructed the from date and to date within this function. Destination bucket is dynamically constructed with using the prefix and the region name, and then the bucket prefix is again it's a constant, and then we have a region, right? So then these are all the you know the inputs we are passing while creating a task, and that is how you know this this lambda is been. Uh, is been written now what i do is now i'm going to take it to the my aws account and we're going to see this particular setup and we do a demo so here let me first take you to the cloudwatch uh, log so this is uh, my aws account and uh, currently we are in the oregon region uh, in the oregon region we have the log groups so currently it has 46 log groups by the way and uh, for this demo i am using the three region one is the mumbai region the other one is basically the Ireland region. So in the Mumbai, we have uh, 22 log groups. Uh, in the Ireland region, so we have uh, uh, you know the 17 log groups. Right now, we are running a lambda which will read all these log groups names and send as a payload. Okay. Now let's see you know how does it work. So so this is the uh, our source side. Now let me show you the lambda which we have written. The first one is basically invoker lambda. Right. So here, where is the invoker lambda? This is the export log invoker lambda. So this is export log invoke lambda you know it is scheduled lambda you can schedule it to run once in a day so that it will initiate the job and export the logs 
So this is very simple Lambda, by the way, this is the Python uh, 3.12 uh, runtime Lambda. And the, whatever the code I have walked you through, so that's the same code we have written here. As you see, let me uh, open this particular code here. So basically, so this is the code we have written, which is actually list the log groups, uh, invokes the Lambda, and this is the Lambda handler. Right, and this is all about the you know the uh, invoker lambda that is export log invoker lambda. Now we're gonna see the second lambda, uh, which is used to create a multiple instances while performing this particular activity. So the next lambda is called as an export lambda. So again, this lambda is the Python 3.12 runtime, uh, and the logic is already been deployed. So this the the logic of this particular lambda as I walked you through. Its job is to read the event that is basically, you know, it is invoked by another lambda, right? And and passing as a as a payload as an event. In that one, you're gonna get the two parameters. One is the log group name and the region name. With using that, you are constructing the export task in the CloudWatch. Okay, so that is what the under the hood happening. Now let me take you to the other side. Basically, you know, I have created a three log bucket, which is basically the destination bucket which will store the CloudWatch log. So here is the three buckets we have created. Have a look at the region so you need to make sure that you know these are the regions in the sense you are exporting the logs from the cloud watch uh, cloud watch logs from the ap southeast uh, ap south one region then you need to have a bucket which is stored in the ap southeast or ap south one similarly for eu west one if you are exporting the logs from eu west one you need to have a bucket created in a region eu west one likewise for us west two okay and along with that, on this bucket, you need to create one S3 bucket policy as I explained in the, my previous video of this. That is, if you go to the permissions and in the permissions, you know, you need to construct a Amazon S3 bucket policy. So this is the S3 bucket policy and it has a two statement, by the way. So first one is, you know, this is the, it is trusted by a service that is the, the CloudWatch log. So basically log.region.aws Amazon, Amazon AWS.com. And then the permission that we are giving is basically get bucket acl and uh, belongs to this particular bucket similarly uh, you know the another action that is put bucket object so basically here the cloudwatch log you know service will upload the logs into this particular bucket that's the reason we have to add this uh, s3 bucket policy and make sure that you know your s3 bucket policy changes according to your bucket name and region name so here is the ap south one bucket so i'm using this uh, you know this service uh, you know the this is the uh, service principle of the Amazon log group, Amazon CloudWatch log group. Similarly, this is the bucket name which is belongs to South South One. So similarly, you have to construct the S3 bucket policy. No need to worry. I have constructed that policies uh, in this particular, uh, you know, the repo. I'm going to share this, uh, you know, the code base repo link. You can choose it from there and try to just modify here. So that is about the S3 bucket policy. You need to keep it in a destination. Okay, so with that, you know, that is how we set our destination that is uh, the the log. Yeah. Now, what we do is, you know, now I'm going to start the, you know, the, the, the demo. That is, if I open one bucket, there is no, nothing has been there here. And we can also check for the another region as well. Right now, we don't have anything. So what I do is, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to initiate the task now by just clicking or just testing this particular Lambda. Okay, so this is, everything is set. Now, what I do is, you know, Consider that a scenario where a scheduled lambda is getting triggered now. So what is that it is happening? If you see in the output, it is executing the lambda. That is basically it is executing the logic and invoking the second lambda. And here you can see the logs clearly. So it says that, you know, in the EU West region, so it has identified these many number of CloudWatch log groups. And on each CloudWatch log groups, it is initiating the export task, which we're going to see now from the CloudWatch log. So currently I'm in Oregon region. So we can go to the, uh, you know, the, go to the export logs. Okay. And here you should see the logs. You see that it has just now created these many number of, uh, you know, the, the export task. And if I refresh, you know, it should be getting completed by now. So you see that these are all successfully completed and uh, yeah, it has successfully completed all the logs. So likewise, you know, it does similar job for the, uh, you know, the another, um, you know, the region as well. You can check that. Uh, so here I would like to highlight one more drawback here is that, you know, if you go to the service quota, uh, so there is a limitation here in the service quota that, you know, um, at one particular point of time in a region of a AWS CloudWatch log groups, you can have only one, um, you know, the, you can have the only one uh, export task running that is the quota set here so if you see that 
active export task quota is equal to 1. So that's the reason there is a potentially uh, error can be occurring in this solution. So I would recommend you to change, get this, uh, you know, the active export to the number that you want uh, per region, the, the region that you scope it here in the solution. So then only the solution will work seamlessly. That is my input here. Now with that said, you know, our solution should be working now. Let me grab the, the, the output of the second lambda which is basically you know doing a lot of job because it is getting created per instances that is per region it is running one instances of the of the log so let's open the the latest cloudwatch logs and uh, here you go right so you see that it is failing as i said you know it is because of the limitations but if you have only one cloudwatch log groups to export so it will never fail that is the my input now with that said you know at least one job should be succeeded let's go to the uh, the the uh, uh, bucket side and try to just see the what is it happened in the bucket so i'm opening the ap southeast one so here we go so we got the path got created dynamically and there should be some test log being written so okay so which means that you know the our connection setup is as expected provided we fix this quota problem or you decrease the log group equal to one the solution should be working seamlessly all right so that is what i wanted to highlight now you can again run it but uh, you know let me run it again uh, so that we see at least some logs getting exported into the uh, us west to region so let me go back to the bucket and i'm going to show you for the us west to region so if i go to the us west to region and then here uh, we will see that you know the uh, it has already created the the path as as per this uh, as per the another region as well and uh, so you see that we not only have the log write test but it also has exported some logs in this particular format and here you go so we have uh, you know lot of logs being copied here so enormous logs are being copied and, and put it across into this particular s3 bucket all right so this is the how we are gonna you know export the logs from multiple region uh, into the amazon s3 bucket and from there we're gonna consolidate and put it into a single bucket all right so the second part of the demo is depends on you know how famous this video becomes if you like it please try to subscribe it like it there so that i can create a second version of this particular video that is how to consolidate these logs and put it into a central bucket and then we you know further you know further versions of the video will be continued one finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video